Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. All of our guests today, including Pat Morris, agent for Bo Horvat, among others, standing by, brought to you by the Bayside Oceanfront Resort, located Oceanside in beautiful Parksville. The Bayside Resort, one of Vancouver Island's premier spots to get away, unwind, and recharge. Call now to book your reservation. And mention Donnie and Dolly for 10% off your nightly room rate. Book your island getaway at BaysideOceanfrontResort.com or call 250 248 888 Three. I speculated earlier that uh, the Canucks would be uh, starting Thatcher Demko uh, tonight. I was wrong. Word from Bruce Boudreau yeah. is that Yaroslav Halak will get the start tonight. And the expectation is, I think, again, what do I know, is that Thatcher Demko will get the remaining five starts if they yeah. stay in the playoff hunt. And there's another back-to-back -back, uh, to come as well. Also, Alex Chason, who missed uh, yesterday's game, will be a game-time uh, decision yep. uh, for the Canucks, a non-COVID illness from what we understand yeah all right uh joined now by uh pat morris from newport sports management he's bo horvath's uh, agent connects captain of course uh, out at least two weeks with a lower body injury stopped that shot uh thursday against arizona with his right foot pat thanks so much for doing this how are you sir gentlemen always a pleasure to be on with you two uh power brokers <laughs> oh, wow. thank you so I'm much <laughs> uh, that's the nicest thing anyone said about us, Pat, believe me. <laughs> hey, what can you tell us about your client's uh, health, Bo Horvat, Pat? Uh, he didn't play last night. He won't play tonight. Can you that's put it? That's you put, that's well, that's good. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you want to elaborate We knew that. On that. We knew that, Pat. <laughs> yeah. Do, do we assume he's done for the regular put season, it, Pat? Put it this way. Uh, if he could play, you know, he'd be chomping at the bit to play, so... Uh, that foot is is in a bad way uh, yeah. that, you know, it, it could be season-ending or, you know, the reparation of that might be uh, such that he can rejoin the team. So go Canucks, go to make the playoffs, and uh, and hopefully we haven't seen the last of him because he was, he was rolling pretty nicely. Yeah, what's his level of uh, disappointment or frustration right now, Pat? Well, you know what, when you're – you want to contribute to a team trying to make the playoffs. You're an important piece. You're the captain of the team. You want to be on the bench, not in the stands. So great disappointment. There's been uh, an ebb and flow of the season for him with, uh, with going to the United States, getting COVID, getting locked there. Uh, those things are frustrating. And uh, you know what, when you're playing your best hockey and then to be uh, shut down with uh, an innocent shot block that uh, creates uh, the frustration. So certainly frustrated, disappointed, uh, but you're a cheerleader and you're, you're helping whatever way you can from what you see uh, watching games. Um, can we uh, assume or can you talk about uh, if the Canucks make the playoffs, w would he be healthy enough to you play? Know, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but okay. everybody gets ready for uh, – the playoffs and a lot of injuries uh, get put by the wayside at that time. So um, one would be hopeful, but uh, I don't know. Hey, Pat, uh, the contract uh, time for your client, uh, Bo Horvat, is not too far away. Is the plan a long-term deal in Vancouver, Pat, uh, when you sit down and talk to him? I know he hates missing the playoffs. There hasn't been a ton of uh, playoff success, uh, Pat, in Vancouver in the past 10 years, actually. But um, when you talk uh, to the Canucks, is the goal going to be long-term for uh, Bo? You know what? Uh, the way I play the contractual situation, he's one year away from his contract ending, that's a long period of time. It's a new management team. They're getting to know every individual as a person and as a player. So they're certainly assessing and watching and creating what their game plan is. I haven't interrupted that. There's no point in talking about, you know, I know they like Bo Horvat. Uh, everybody does. Uh, you know what, having a, a center that plays hard like Bo does, they are few and far between. So Bo really likes Vancouver. Bo would love to stay there. His family has grown up there. Um, and certainly there's no reason to run away from Vancouver. That's not what he wants to do. But 
those issues will come to a head maybe oh. this July in a sense, or it'll come to a head uh, a year from now. But right now we haven't had any uh, long discussions, Bo or myself or, or the Cox. Pat, uh, you got a client here, Chason, who's been on fire here, and he couldn't have come at a better time with so many top nine forwards out. But Alex Chason, eight points, last four games. Uh, I know talking to you, you're not surprised uh, about this success he's had, uh, but talk a little bit about him and uh, just how happy you are for him in his last uh, run here in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, what a wonderful person, and, and he's just the consummate team player. He can play up and down the lineup, the first line, second line, third line, fourth line. If he's out of the lineup, he's not complaining. Uh, very versatile, can play on a, a first or second power play. Maybe people would want uh, more in the sense of who would be on your first power play, but he's shown in, in Edmonton where he nearly had 25 goals playing with good players. So I'm I'm just thrilled that He's found a niche. Uh, hopefully that allows him to stay in Vancouver, and uh, he certainly provides great depth on uh, a second, third, or fourth line. Pat, I remember when you uh, signed Jason Dickinson in Vancouver and how excited you were. Uh, things have not gone super-duper well for him this year, a lot of factors. Uh, but last night I thought he played his best game of the year, one goal, two assists, and three points. Uh, sum up his year in Vancouver, uh, Pat, for us, uh, for Jason Dickinson. Yeah, very, very excited to arrive. Uh, really appreciated the uh, the note of uh, confirmation that they wanted him to be part of the future with the three-year deal. Entered the season with all of the best intentions. Did not get off to a good start. One of his principles is to, to lead the penalty kill, as he did so well in Dallas. That did not go great uh to start in vancouver and and snowballed the wrong way uh injuries have been a big part of it players play through injuries that the public don't know about uh teammates do and uh and trainers do and and management does and doctors do he's uh battled through it uh missed a lot of games and he's come back uh limping but but trying to help uh the team as best he can and he's playing his best hockey uh for vancouver now so hopefully this is a, a sign of where the rest of the season can go and into the playoffs for vancouver and and on into next season because he certainly uh has, has adapted uh slowly and uh is picking up speed so i'm happy for him too and it's a great time to talk to you after a three-point night last night yeah, for, uh, no Dave. kidding Hey, Pat, uh, is Bo uh, and the rest of your uh, Canuck clients, are, are they uh, Bruce Boudreaux fans? Uh, they've enjoyed him. Yeah, he's uh, been very positive uh, voice in the room. Uh, the team has done well. Uh, they, you know, had nothing against Travis Green, and, and they play for who the coach is. But at the end of the day, Bruce is. uh had the team resonate well with him, and uh, certainly it's been a positive experience for uh, all the players. What do you think uh, your client's reaction uh, would be, and maybe the reaction around the rest of the league, if if the Canucks let Bruce go, and that rumor's flying around Vancouver these days? You know what, I, I wouldn't know necessarily. We haven't talked about that. Uh, I've asked and they've enjoyed playing for him at the same time. That's, that's a decision for management and the players uh, will have a level of emotion, I guess, because mm. they then be playing for their third coach and in a calendar year that always becomes tough. But I think everybody admires Bruce as a, as a person and, uh, and he keeps it light and, uh, and the locker room light, which is uh, what you need to perform uh, at times. Pat, what I love about you is uh, you care about your $10 million players, but you also care about uh, the guys that uh, are in the minors as well. There's a player that Vancouver sent uh, from Abbotsford to Flint, uh, forward Ethan Keppen. He is still property of the Canucks. Uh, can you give us an update on him, how he's doing in Flint? Yeah, you know what? He, he'd missed a whole year of hockey in the OHL last year. Played a few games at the end of the season in Utica, which... Uh, was where Vancouver's farm team was. They signed him to an American League deal in Abbotsford. They didn't sign him as a fourth-round pick. They let him go back into the draft. He wasn't selected, but they 
thought enough of him to bring him to Abbotsford. He hadn't scored a goal in in almost a year and a half, hadn't raised his hand. So we had a talk around uh, Christmas. I worked with Ryan Johnson really well, and he put him back in Flint to get his confidence back and his playing time up. So he certainly has done very well in Flint. They're uh, one of the top five teams in the OHL this year, and Ethan has contributed uh, on the score sheet and physically he's uh he's, he's played very well clubs in the event vancouver doesn't sign him uh pat just very quickly the state of hockey uh, uh, right now goal scoring is way way up what, what do you, what's your opinion of what you're seeing on the ice these days it's just the game's never been faster uh the players have, have never been more talented they work on their game for 12 months a year, they have skating coaches, they have skill development uh, within their teams, players have their own skill development person in the summer, and, and they just work at it, and uh, it, it's uh, a byproduct of the work ethic of the players has turned out in how the game has changed, uh, the rules are such, I know there's complaints, there's no perfection in officiating, that's difficult uh, with a game as fast as it is, but really uh they've they've tightened up and allowed the the skilled players to play so you've got to be a player first to fourth line or uh one through six or one through eight defensively uh you've got to uh be able to move the puck transport the puck and think the game and and i think the game's in the best shape it's ever been in pat thanks so much for doing this appreciate it yeah always a pleasure gentlemen